Hey guys, Sean Bucci, SurplusFundsRiches.net. Recently had a couple of calls from folks that had purchased the program, started to work it on their own, made some good money, and actually decided to switch it out and go with a partnership with us instead. And let me explain why it makes financial sense for a lot of people to not do it on their own. Look, if you want to do it full time, do it on your own, wear all the hats. We teach you how to do that. We teach you how to do that. And we teach you to do it right. However, if you want to limit your fixed costs and you want to work with somebody else that can handle kind of the heavy lifting, that's an option built into our programs. Now, the reason that they came on board, and this is, I'm actually piecing them together, more than one, just so you know, but if you're gonna do surplus funds recovery on your own, you're gonna have to have a good skip tracing system. That's gonna cost either a set monthly or, excuse me, it's gonna cost you per search. In addition to that, you're gonna have to have all the basic business stuff. You're gonna have to have uh, a laptop or a desktop or a tablet, something like that, that you can work well with. A good printer, you're gonna have to be able to print stuff off, obviously. A good Wi-Fi connection. But of course, you're also gonna need to have skip tracing. You're gonna have to be able to find these people, you know, people search system. Uh, the good ones cost good money. In addition to that, you're gonna have to not just call them, but you're gonna have to mail them. That builds credibility and gets you in front of them more often. And that actually, for us, I think accounts for probably probably at least 30% of our deals are as a result of the fact that we also got a mailing in front of them. It's a big deal. In addition to that, you're gonna have to have a filing system of some sort. Uh, you're going to have records you're gonna have to keep for taxes and that type of thing. On top of that, in order to get the skip tracing, you're gonna have to have an area that's set aside for your business with either a locking desk or a locking door to that area because you're looking at information that can be sensitive, all right? So you've got the cost of the mailing pieces themselves, either you're gonna print them or have them printed. You're gonna have the postage. Guys, I spend, I buy 2,500 rolls, I mean, I'm sorry, 2,500 stamps a month. That's how many we're sending out. And when you send out a mailing, it's best to not only send it out to the possible claimant, but also also their possible relatives and associates, uh, the address where they used to live, the address you've got is where they're living now, and double check the deed uh, because there may be another mailing address listed there. We typically send out anywhere from five to 10 pieces of mail per deal we're going after, and we'll, we'll hit that very, very quickly the first month, probably three times, and then we're consistently hitting it as well on top of making calls, all right? Once we get a hold of them and they agree, you need to put the deal together while everybody's in agreement. Mobile notary is the way to go. Mobile notaries can run $75 in a cheap area, $250 or more if, if it's a, a really rural area or the, uh, the nearest notary has to drive a while to get there. It can be that high. Uh, you're going to have to, if you're doing it our way, hire an attorney. Now our attorneys, we have a central attorney that hires the front line. Even guys that have known us for years charge us some money up front uh, just to have it in their account, okay? Just so that they've got it so they know they're going to get paid. <laughs> the way we do it is a structured buyout. So I'm going to give the claimant 10% of the gross amount being held up to $10,000. 10% of the gross amount being held by the court within 10 business days after they sign our agreement. The reason within 10 business days is during that period, I'm gonna have the attorney double check that, make sure nothing was missed, or there wasn't a judgment that we couldn't access online, uh, and to make sure there weren't any claims made. And a lot of the counties won't talk to you uh, and tell you whether or not a claim was made. Now, if you're using an updated list, and obviously you're gonna have a conversation with the person, you're typically not gonna have a problem, but sometimes, sometimes they'll lie. I know it's shocking, but sometimes they'll lie. <laughs> and, and they've made a claim, and they're trying to make a little extra money. So you've got to, into doing this on your own, you're paying for all this stuff as you go. And when you take that out, what we pay with the national surplus, we give you 8% of gross. I'm paying the owner 60 to 70%. I'm paying a, uh, an attorney 5 to 10% typically. So we're talking about anywhere from 65 to 80% uh, is going out to the owner, and I'm giving you eight of the gross, and I'm giving you eight of the gross. So it's not like we're making a ton more money for the amount of work we're doing. And the point of all of this is to say, these guys are making almost as much money with 
about a third around, yeah, about a third of the work. So that's a big deal, guys. Now with the Premier 16, the other surplus funds program we have, you can make 16% of gross, but in that one, in addition to uh, getting your, go get a list, we teach you how to do that, research the debt, make sure there wasn't a debt, additional debt against the property at the time of the sale. And then you've got to call them to make sure you have the right person and they're willing to speak to us. You don't negotiate, you don't spend our money. We, we do the negotiations, but yeah, we pay you 16% of gross instead of eight on that one, but more money, more work, and a little bit of cost because you're gonna have to skip trace mail and call them. All of this is to say, because I've had people say, I don't know, why can't I just submit deals to you and not buy your program and your training? First of all, the training not only teaches you how to do the business, but it teaches you how to submit stuff to us, right? And I'm not just gonna give you that piece. There's also a value to the training, period, right? In order to do it on your own. But lastly, I'm in business. I'm gonna incur costs to start you in this business. I just went over those. We're going to skip trace. We're also gonna print files, have a hard copy. We're gonna data enter it into our uh, our CRM, okay? On top of that, we're gonna give that out to the, the case managers. We're gonna mail it, we're gonna skip trace it, we're going to call it, uh, we're gonna hire mobile notaries. We're gonna incur costs just to start you up. The cost of the course doesn't even defray all of that, but it helps to defray the initial startup cost. I hope this has helped explain why people charge. I know there's guys out there that charge $1,500 and they don't even partner with you. I don't get it. But anyway, I hope this has helped and I hope you guys have a great day.